Welcome back. Today we have a huge update for Stormworks, but what does it actually mean? Let's get started. So today I'm running Stormworks in 1280 by 720. Usually I'm in a bit of a high resolution, I think like 21 something. But today I just wanted to lower down the resolution. And I think that's probably what most people are playing at. And kind of look at this lovely build by Axel X, which is the flying schooner. I'm sure it's going to be at the top of the... Uh, Stormworks Workshop, but I wanted to use it today for a test, I guess. So today, Stormworks devs dropped a huge update, which they are calling an optimization update. Now, I, I, I have mixed feelings. I'm not going to lie. Is this an optimization update? Yes, kind of. No, kind of. Uh, is, this, is this also going to be an update where they throw their hands up and say, OK, see, we optimized and now we won't see anything new for months or years on optimization i'm thinking years so let's talk about actually what the update is it is this let's go over here escape settings and general and you'll see we have physics detail now i'm not completely positive what this does as far as when we say physics detail if it's doing collision i know if you change this to the lowest setting you're going to get these pivots here not strong enough to hold up the uh ship here so that does happen but on the upside you do get some great frame rate so let's let's stay over here and let's take a look all right so on the top of my screen i'm saying i'm getting 122 frames per second because if you noticed your camera no matter how big the well usually at least on my machine no matter how big the build is your camera does not suffer from the moonwalking because the physics are what's killing the game so if i jump up and down i'm in moon gravity and that's because the physics are impacting the frame rate of the simulation running which is the person and the ship itself which kind of makes you wonder like could they separate me the person from the physics and allow the ship to slow down its response time that's kind of a good question uh because again if we go into camera mode our camera is not impacted by the frame rate. Even if we put on the simulation mode here, I had to push P, see the, the water's moving. Is it moving? Yeah, the water's moving. Now that we've seen that, let's go ahead and jump on this. We're not gonna tour this because like I said, I think it's gonna end up on the top of the workshop. All right, so now we're on top of the boat. We're still in moon gravity. Let me turn off the detailed tool tips. All right, there we go. All right, so as you can see, we're on top and we're just gonna go ahead and Get this thing moving. Levitation. Motor. Okay, I gotta turn that down. So now that we have that running, let's hit F1 and let's look at what's going on here. So on our physics, we have 44 frames per second, which is not bad, not bad at all uh, for this build. We have 17 milliseconds general. And then if we look at this big one, I don't know if you can see it, but right below where it says logic, if you go down like three rows, it says physics join or phi join, which is 12 to 13 milliseconds. Now that number, I think, is representative of the number of bodies and, and pivots that are all kind of connecting. And that's the delay that's happening. So I could be making that up, but watch what happens when we drop down to medium. All right, we're going to drop down to medium. Now our vehicle is still behaving relatively well. We're getting a little bit more, I guess, rocking than we were before let's see if we can go forward um yeah all the way forward okay so now we're moving forward and if we go back into f1 we're gonna see the physics join has dropped almost by i don't know like five five points maybe so now we're like eight nine milliseconds our frame rate is up to 56 and general is about the same i think i don't remember what it was but the physics join is a big one so now let's do something else let's go over here and look what's going on so what you should notice is the physics on the ropes are going to get loosey-goosey. Loosey-goosey, is that a thing? Anyway, so they're going to get a little bit more free-floating because there's less calculations, I believe, happening with how they're colliding with each other and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down to low. All right. Okay, now we're going to get the physics kind of drooping. Uh, if we were landing, those landing gear would probably be uh fall falling as well okay they are going up so that's good so we're getting great performance now and if we look at f1 
you're going to see the physics join is down to zero milliseconds. Okay, that's amazing. The physics is up to 62 frames per second from, I think, 30 we started at, or 44. Uh, but the physics join is the one to look at right now. We're not getting any problems, at least we're not getting any impact by all these ropes and pivots anymore. And so now, you know, we're going to get better reaction. So the question is, is this practical to play it on this? I don't know because of the pivots becoming weak. So if I were to spawn a, a plane with landing gear, the landing gear would probably collapse. If I spawn something where the wings are being held up by pivots, the, the wings are going to collapse. I don't know what happens with cars. We should probably try that. I also want to do a multiplayer test because I've set the server to the lowest settings and I'm kind of curious to see what happens. So is this an optimization update is what keeps coming to mind. Yes and no. What this does is it allows you to play with more complex vehicles at a great frame rate, but then the vehicle is going to display attributes that weren't intended like droopy cells and um, probably more things that we don't know about. I don't know if boats go flying in the air. I haven't tested that, but that is something you know we need to check out. So just kind of like to say it again in a different way, this is a very exciting update and kind of scary as to what this means as far as like an optimization standpoint. Because if the devs see this as an optimization, then this may be the limit of what they're willing to do. For me, this is the problem. All of these little bodies here. I think that is the biggest problem with Stormworks, and this is what needs to be optimized. How these shapes are actually made, how the model is brought into the world, and then the physics are applied to it. Not the physics modeling so much, as but how the translation from the vehicle build to the vehicle in the world is done. Now, I'm not smart enough to know how this is working or how this is being calculated, but having worked with programmers for years, there is always a way to approach a problem in a different way. You may have to go back and reprogram and restructure and recalculate and rethink how you've done something, but there is always a way to come back and do another pass and make it better. And I think this is what needs to be optimized. This is the area where physics flooding a hole in the main body of the ship is not a solution. It's a slight workaround to a larger problem, which is all of these itty bitty shapes. So until this is solved, I don't think Stormworks is gonna have true optimization. Now this may be a version Stormworks 2.0, that needs to be done and the whole thing is just thrown out and restarted but for me this is a problem not not turning up and down a a flip switch of how we calculate physics that is just my opinion but that is my thought process right now and again i'm talking from a perspective that don't know the details on how this works or how the calculations are being done but from what i've seen this is a big problem here. All these little guys and how they're being calculated upon. So take that with a grain of salt, but you know, that's just <laughs> something I'm kind of stuck on. Also, since we're talking about this, I am curious. I've submitted a question to the in Jersey QA, uh, Q and A, and that's about environmental mods that are buildings and, and structures. I am curious to why, even though they are set to static in an environment, that the game seems to apply, or it appears to apply, physics to those objects. It seems like we could populate the world with buildings that load in as 3D objects, and that way we don't have a frame rate hit on some of the amazing environmental mods, such as train stations and stuff like that, if they're not using logic. Maybe there's logic elements that you add to them, but those are like separate, like add-in, which would make sense. But to me, it seems like we should be able to populate the world with buildings and not have an impact and they should load just like all the other 3d buildings in the game so that is a question that i asked to the in jersey q a and hopefully that gets responded to because i would love to hear about that because i think that would make a huge difference on gameplay as well if you can actually load you know environments in without the impact on the frame rate so what i want to do now is see if i can get some people on the server 
uh, that I've set to the lowest physics setting and see if we can get some people to spawn stuff and see how multiplayer behaves. So let's go get that done. All right, so we are on the server. We uh, have spawned some things and we are checking it out. So I've got, what do I have here? A Axel, it's Vic, Jacob, Laser Pants, Josh, random things posted and Endoskull, me of course. And so we are kind of just messing around here to see how the physics work on low on a server. So, so far, so good. I'm, I'm not seeing any problems. Looks like Josh is having some trouble. But uh, seems to be working pretty well so far. Let's get out of here. Let's go see what this is doing over here. Okay. I mean, we've got people lagging a little bit. But things appear to be moving. Let's see if we can get a more complex build out here. I haven't flown this, so I don't know how it works. But we will try it. And, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five vehicles. Server says 60 frames per second. And I'm having a pretty good time here, actually. I'm not really lagging. All right, let's fly back to the hangar. It appears that there's something blinking out there. And we're using a Thales build here, as you can see. So for me, it's running pretty well. I can't tell how other people are doing right now, but uh, it's working pretty well. Okay, so let's cut the engine and see how the physics behave. Someone said that it might actually be a little bit more of a glide with the physics turned down low. And it kind of kind of did feel like it was gliding a little bit more than usual, but I don't know. Can't tell. Might be just me and my brain. All right, so that helicopter seems to be working. We've got one, two, three, four, four vehicles. All right, so these guys are having a standoff with a gun and a flashlight, but what we're trying to do here is spawn something large. Something like a Lorg's build might work. I don't know. I'm asking them to spawn some. I don't have any since I cleaned out my uh, workshop folder because I was getting so many. So let's wait to see what happens here. All right, so I'm going to spawn something, which is the F-14, maybe. Did it work? There we go. So the one thing that you notice is I'm able to move around in the game pretty well. So I don't know if this is going to work, but we will try. So we have everybody online still. Still waiting to get up to speed. That one hasn't moved down. Okay, it did. We're ready to go. And let's unlock the brake. And let's see if we can move out of here. I think we're going to hit that car. Yep, you're going to hit the car. All right, let's just blast it. Oh, we had a bomb blow up. Uh-oh. All right, so there's the other feature it has is the warning that the uh, number of physics bodies and uh, that this was built in a modified workbench. So <laughs> that's a new feature too, which is kind of nice. Let you know that you might have trouble. Let's try this one more time just to see if we can get this guy in the air without too much trouble. All right, let's see here. Let's see if we can do this. It's trying to turn left for some reason. Might be a problem with the engines not being in sync, but it's not turning left. All right, let's, uh, Oh, okay. So now it's turning for some reason. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of disconnect on the controlling of the plane. Okay. All right, we're up. I just floored it. Okay, let's put the gear up. Oh, that might be a problem. The gear might have been giving me trouble. Don't even know. All right. So there is still that lag from input so I'll push the button and then you'll see it happen push the button and then you'll see it happen so there is a bit of lag but we are flying on a server with one two three four five six people so it's not bad let's see if we can just 
I'm up here. Uh, I would attempt to land this thing, but I don't think that's going to happen because we know how I land. And plus, it's still kind of got a weird lag to it. Okay, let's... Oh my gosh, I didn't have the wings <laughs> out. Oh, but I didn't break my tail. Okay, uh, let's see if we can land. And then we'll call this a successful test. Uh, this is not a car carrier landing. Oh. Why are my air brakes not working? I was trying to hit the air brakes. They're not working. Are they not hooked up? I'll have to check this later. But, uh... Yeah! Oh, there's the air brakes are not connected. That would be a problem. All right, so anyways, let's go back to the single player. Thank you, uh, Vic, Lazy, Jacob, Random, and Josh, and I don't know who else was here and left, but thank you for testing with me, and uh, let's get back to the single player. All right, so I was just about to go to the single player game, but we're going to go back on the server because someone is messing around with this on the server. So let's go back. All right, so we are back on the server, and apparently, somewhere, there are two flying ships. All right, let's jump up there. Whew! Okay, we made it. All right. All right, so this is the flying schooner by Axel F. I'm not too sure who I'm with right here. But we are flying on a multiplayer server, and there are two of these right now. Uh, where's the other one? There it is right there. Right there. So we have two flying with three people. This is a big change. This is kind of an amazing change now that we've gotten to this point where we are on a multiplayer server and we're running two very large creations. So I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. And again, we're not crashing. We are moving. And the server is showing about 40 frames per second. So, this is pretty amazing. When I was playing with this by myself, I couldn't even barely get going. Okay, so it appears now that the other one is coming into sight. Is that why? We've kind of slowed down here. Okay, hmm, interesting. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I appear to have slowed down a little bit. Okay, now I'm kind of speeding up a bit again. But it might be because we're looking at this guy right here. I mean, I can't really complain about two giant airships on a multiplayer server not destroying it and actually flying. So, yeah. Alright, so as you can see, my graphics might have just popped up in resolution. That's because I'm running in 2550 by 1440, I think. And I'm still getting 40 frames per second. And I have two giant airships that are running, and they look fabulous. These are by Axel F. You can download them in the description below. And anyways, it uh, looks like they're going to collide. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. But <laughs> what I was going to say, having come into this update with a little bit of negativity, I might say, um, I think I'm uh, really won over by the multiplayer aspect of this update. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like we're going to crash. I think this was more of a multiplayer update than a single player update. I mean, maybe if someone's building something large and they're going to lower the uh, physics, it might help them. But as far as multiplayer goes, I think this was a bigger update for multiplayer. Now, I don't know how it's going to affect some planes with the pivots and stuff like that. But for right now, it's looking pretty good. So that's good. So hopefully the devs don't stop here. And possibly they work on getting this more optimized, which is all the little entities and how they work and not just a physics flutter. But there's not too much to complain about right now when it comes to a multiplayer server and giant vehicle builds being spawned. So, yeah, I give you uh, five stars on this update, I guess. So, very cool. At least for right now. <laughs> I don't know what, what negative things are going to happen, but this is pretty amazing. So that's it for today. I'm going to include links to these vehicles that we used on the dedicated server for testing in the links below if I know what they are. Go ahead and hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a video. 
And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And thank you so much for your support, watching this video, and listening to me rant. So I will see you next time. Bye.